Welcome back. Um, had a spare bit of time this after, to, after work and I did another paver which gives it another inch off the ground. Just going to kind of give that a bit more distance from the moisture and anything like that. So that's basically what I've done. I'm itching to get into this loft but unfortunately I have to work too much this week. I think I've done like 10, 11 hours today so hopefully on the weekend I can get the floor in and start putting the frame up. This is annoying because I just want it up. So I've got my little hand raising basket set up here. Um, I'm going to bring in the four chicks we've got, put them in here and start hand raising them. I'm going to try and slow down on too much breeding at the moment so I get the loft up and get all the pairs inside the loft because it's going to have its own breeding set up. So I need to get some newspaper in there and some pine needles. I picked some more up the other day. Seemed to go through this stuff like super quickly. Basically just get this nice and cosy for the young chicks. Make it like a bit of a nest. And be four of them in here, so I wanna make sure it's nice and comfy. Righto. Let's go get them. Sit that down there. So <laughs> Take these little chicks out. That's one. Come here. Two. And I'll take all this out and give it a good clean out. I'm gonna give you these guys a break. He needs a break anyway, because he's these chicks are his third round. So he's raised six chicks so far this season so might give him a little bit of time off and then when the new loft's up might let him go for like a late round of chicks we'll see how we're going with birds because I wouldn't mind a couple more black ones I feel like these two their little black baby is going to be a good cross so we'll see we'll see how they go anyway but he's a beautiful bird she's not too bad either let's go get these other chicks And these two, you can come with me, you can go in there, and you can come out too. It's like a little nursery. And this will need a clean out as well. These guys make this so messy. I clean it nearly every day. I'm um, splitting up this pair. I've bred a few chicks off her and yeah I'm not really too fond of this one so I might sell him off with my other blue barless hen as a pair and basically just keep this big guy here because I think he's probably the better quality out of all the barless and we'll just concentrate on the young from him let them keep breeding Some of these are already starting to get used to me. See this one here? It's only been like five minutes. Come on. Come on. Maybe tomorrow they'll be all, all over me. Yes, I can't feed you, but because you've got a full belly. And you need to get back in your cage, but you're a beautiful colour. around here so we can see you a bit better. It's got some bars there and it's a nice, I don't know what it is, like a cinnamon grey colour. Like a dilute type thing so pretty cool. You're going to be like my little pet I reckon. See if we can tame you up. It's 
put yours in there. So I'm going to start hand raising these ones, feeding them and that. That's why they're here. Sitting in their spot. Hey, come on. And just a quicker look at the gang before we go. All just chilling out after a feed. This is the hen that I might sell. I'm going to have heaps of barless this season with breeding anyway, so I don't need too many birds. And... Hello. Howdy. Ooh, you're going to be funny with me, are you? Ooh, that's the goose. Cockbird, I reckon, for sure. Where's all my chicks? One there, oh, there's another one here. Alright, catch you guys tomorrow. And this guy here is super friendly. You always try and land on me. You're still a bit of a baby, that's why. Hey, come on. Come on, mate, you're getting a bit old for this, aren't you? Oh, sweeping me. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow.